I'm Crystal Faulkner with the CPA and business advisory firm of Cooney, Faulkner & Stevens. We're here today with Greg Hartman. Greg's the president of the Hamilton County Board of Commissions. And Greg, about a year ago, or a little more, you actually spearheaded a coalition to help consumers here in our region avoid scams, fraud, and abuse. As a CPA and a certified forensic financial analyst, I know that fraud and that type of thing can just be financially destructive to people and to businesses. Let's talk about that. Sure. Uh, with the downturn in the economy, we noticed an explosion of fraud uh, in the community, so we decided to do something about it, and we put a coalition together to get out in the community and educate people to, to try to prevent them from becoming victims of fraud. So at the front end, once somebody's become a victim, uh, their life becomes a nightmare. So we put a coalition together, law enforcement, uh, many different social service agencies, uh, that really focused on who's a potential victim and how do we get the word out to them. And it sounds like the key here is really the proactive nature of this as opposed yeah. to being reactive, which is really smart. Unfortunately, thieves don't take what they've stolen and invest in blue chip stocks, so usually you never get that money back. There is an event next week as a part of the Consumer Protection right. Week that you're partnering with the Attorney General on. Maybe you can share some of those details. Yeah, we're doing an event uh, next week on March 8th uh, at the uh, Meyerson Center to educate seniors about how what the scams are, how they can protect themselves. And we're doing that in partnership with the Attorney General's Office. Uh, uh, National Consumer Protection Week uh, is the reason for us uh, having that event. We're going to educate seniors. Seniors are only one group, uh, but an important group where, where criminals target and try to take advantage of. And speaking of seniors and the event, is it free or is there a charge to this? It is, and there'll be information on the WCPO website uh, on how to register uh, 10 a.m. Uh, at the Meyerson Center uh, on March 8th. And, and we'll be focusing on how to keep seniors uh, out of the sights of the bad guys. That's great, Greg. And, you know, it is tax time, and being a CPA, I'm very conscientious of the fact that often this is a time when predators, thieves, really like to take advantage of taxpayers. It is. I mean, what, what we've seen, a, a recent scam, are that people are offering free tax help. Uh, if, if, you're, if you get an offer for, for free tax help, you've got to make sure that it's a reputable uh, agency because what's happening is people are get, using people's Social Security numbers, filing fraudulent tax returns, and uh, that leads to a nightmare for those victims. It certainly does. Greg, again, if people would like more information, they can go to the WCPO website and the link to Greg's office and to some of these initiatives will be available for folks. Right. We're going to continue our conversation with Com Commissioner Greg Hartman at, on WCPO.com. So, Commissioner, in addition to the work you're doing with the coalition to stop fraud, scams, and abuse, you also are very active in many other endeavors, including economic development. You recently gave your State of the County address. Maybe you can share what's going on here in the county. Sure. I mean, you know, we at the County Commission have really focused on economic development. Uh, obviously, jobs are number one right now. Uh, in tough times that have been well reported at the county, uh, we've cut our budgets by 35 percent in the last three years. But at the same time, we've increased our investment in economic development because the county uh, has an important role there. And we're seeing an uptick in business activity. We've got over 3,000 businesses in the last two years have invested uh, in facilities in the county and, and making commitment to the region. But uh, we've really made that a priority in Hamilton County, and we're starting to see some results. We think that uh, unemployment has, has bottomed out. We're kind of on the upswing right now, and uh, uh, we're keenly focused on it. It's an exciting time. You know, I just read recently that the city, the Cincinnati, USA, which is the greater Cincinnati area, ranked number six in terms of business growth and expansion, according to Site Selection Magazine, in the whole state of Ohio actually won the governor's award in 2011 for business growth and expansion. And a lot of that's because of incentives and that type of thing. Right. So how does the incentives work and how do, you, how do you balance giving a company an incentive to grow and expand versus one who maybe says, well, why isn't there anything like that for me? Well, it's all about public-private partnerships. I mean, there is a role for government. Uh, we don't have green space to, 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 to build new facilities on. So what we've got to do uh, are remediate a lot of those facilities. And the governor has been very aggressive in the area of economic development as well. He balanced a major hole in the budget, but also is investing in our future. And we're partnering with him through Jobs Ohio. And it's really starting to show signs of, uh, signs of res great results for Ohio. And we've got to be more aggressive. And, and the governor is doing that. Uh, we're partnering with him. We're partnering with the city as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the Port Authority, which is up and running. That's a joint effort with the city and the county. And that really is going to show 
significant tangible benefits, I think, for jobs in the, in the community. You know, I was very fortunate to go down to the Moorline Lager House Gala last week, which was really very cool. I really enjoyed that. And the whole banks. It's really the first time I've walked down into the banks area. That's uh, exploding down there. Isn't it amazing? I mean, that mixed use uh, development is really unique in the United States right now. Uh, we've got 95% of the apartments leased, over 80% of the retail space uh, is, is spoken for. That's a big deal because it's jobs, and that's very exciting. And, uh, you know, from my perspective, one of the reasons that's been such a success is the cooperative approach that we're taking with the city, kind of pulling in the same direction. And, and Greg, I know you've been a commissioner now for several years. As I mentioned, you're the president of the commission, and it sounds like we have a lot of great things going on. But where do you see some more opportunities? How do you think we can even get this done better, faster? I think shared services. I mean, we've got to do more. People are still not happy with the, the form of government that we've got. We've got too many governments here in this community. We've got 49 different political jurisdictions in one county. That means expensive government. So the current government that we have to sustain it either is going to require increased taxes, which I'm clearly against, or us being smarter, which means consolidation. And uh, I think the economy demands that. And uh, that really is a huge opportunity, not only just to save dollars, but to send the message that government's not doing the same old thing. Well, Greg, thank you so much for being thank my you. guest and for everything you do for our community. Thank you.